Oh, fuck me. You say black, I say white, you say bar, I say bite, you say shark, I say him and George was never my scene and I don't like Star Wars. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're going to do some cleaning and some chain stuff. People keep on asking me after I did the what do I lube my chain with. Um, so what I'm going to do is, this is a relatively new chain, I think I've got, I don't know, 500 miles on this now. Uh, it got its first treatment of this 500 miles ago, ish, I say ish, it's loose. <laughs> it might be 600, who fucking knows. Um, but as you can see, it's getting a bit furry. You know what I mean? There's some shit on there. And what we want to do is we want to get that off. So what I do is as it when it's dry, is get the majority of the stuff on the side of the links. You can see on both sides, so I'm kind of cupping it. Look at the shit that's coming off there. And a lot of that's the oil. But we can keep on going. And you know when you've done it, because you'll come back round and it'll be clean. Be nice shiny and golden now like i said before if you've got an o-ring chain like this x-ring o-ring if it's got fucking some kind of rubber rings in it um it is not lubrication between the rollers they are sealed um there's all this hoo-ha from like bell bollocks and stuff that wd-40 and shit washes it out well your o-rings x-rings are not doing their fucking job properly Now I'm just dipping my fingers into the rollers, giving them a go. Nice sunny afternoon. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wrap this around, making sure my hands are on the outside. And just roll this chain through my fingers, but I'm cupping it like that, because like I say, you don't want it to snag, grab, and pull your fucking hand in, because it will. And as you see, I'm rolling this away from, I'm not rolling, that way because that would be fucking feeding my fingers into this fucking finger decapitator all i'm doing here is just removing the bulk of the shit off the chain you can see how what i'm talking i look all like crap now a lot of that's gonna be fucking oil and stuff that i put on it but i can feel it a lot of it's bits of grit and dust and stuff like that now you can see she's all nice and shiny uh, just because people argue with the toss, I'm going to use WD-40 for the life of this entire chair. I'm never going to use anything else to do this because people always bang on about, eh, it fucking washes out. You know, it bloody doesn't. It's fucking nonsense. A little bit of a spin. I'm just trying to catch the excess. So it doesn't go off my brand new tyres. Yes, I'm only doing this one side. But it's getting in there. Now, like I said, what I was talking about is there's some idiots. That guy with that goatee and that fucking baseball cap indoors like a fucking teenager. Um, he bangs on about... Oh, it washes the grease out of the bearings. The grease inside these chains is fucking bright yellow. Right, if you were washing it out, you'd sooner fucking notice it. It's talking complete fucking wank, as usual. Now, there are millions and millions of methods to cleaning chains. This isn't the correct one, because at the end of the day, there really is, I wouldn't say there's the absolute dog's balls. The absolute dog's balls would be to take the chain off and clean it absolutely thoroughly. Again, I'm just now trying to grab the excess off. Exactly what I did before. My fucking mucky prints all my bloody tyres. You can see my wheels in a right fucking mess as well after doing that valve. You can see that as you go around, there's a lot of shit stuck to the sprocket. So what I'm doing is I'm pinching the sprocket. All you're trying to do is you're never going to get it golden, golden clean. Like, well, you can. You can take the whole bloody thing apart. Um, there's no point. You know, people seem to be going out of their way to do everything to make anything last forever. Well, I'm sorry to fucking tell you. But fucking nothing at all lasts forever. It doesn't even fucking last 10 minutes. <laughs> but you can see the shit 
You see that pinching action I've done? You can see the shit that I've got off here. And, you know, people are like, oh, you need to air blow it dry. Look, all we're trying to do is just get rid of the main, the bulk of the debris off the chain. And all I'm doing there is I've got my finger like that and the cloth under my finger like that's a better way to show it. Just trying to get most of that WD-40 wank off. You can see what you get off it, it's nothing crazy. And then all I do is what you've already seen me do, which is just reapply this shit. Chains like tyres like everything don't last forever. Right, how warm it is, look how thin this shit's gone. And again, just same kind of thing. Get the rollers, get the links. You know what I mean? And just give them a, a soaking. There you go, I've come back to the start. So, now I'm just going to brush down there. And all I'm doing really is just loading up this toothbrush with this goo. Not wrong with it. Just get the sides, and it's also dipping in to the rollers on the inside. The rollers will roll just because they'll keep the same orientation, but when the sprockets grab them, it'll grab them in a different place every time. They're not in sequence, basically. They're not in uh, resonance is the proper word for it. You see, all I'm doing is just coating. You know, like if you get a plate, a dinner plate, and you get a bit of olive oil, you can put a drop of oil of oil on that plate and you can smother the entire fucking plate with that. And that's basically what we're trying to do here is just make sure that pretty much the entire surface of the tire of the chain tire fucking hell, that'd be funny wouldn't it you know like the side links just make sure they get what is it and what i'll do is we'll do this as kind of like a shot chat thing so i can chat about um every month or so i will do a shot chat where we just sit here and i clean my bloody chain right then as i was saying camera just said it's batteries full that's the fucking second time that's happened recently i keep on forgetting to take the shit off the card any road. So yeah, in the future, like I say, we'll do shop chats and stuff when I was tanning. I'll talk about something else, but you'll be able to see me doing this um, over the, you know, the next year or so, however long this chain lasts. And we'll see why, by using WD-40 and using this oil and using this process, procedure, whatever you want to call it, we'll see how, um, you know, we'll see what it looks like. And then what we'll do is we'll also crack open the chain and have a look at some of the rollers you know, once it's had it. See, to me, it's not dripping. You know, let's get these side links. We're all good. That's all I fucking do. Now what I'm gonna do is button up my oil and then clean this tire. That uh, wheel, sorry, not the fucking tire. Get a non, absolutely filthy bit. Oh, there's that tape, that duct tape for holding that valve on. Fucking hell. Well, it got me on. So I could get another valve stem. Now, will this shit fling off? Of course it'll fling off. But the amount that it flings off is fuck all. And then um, you just get a wipe, you know what I mean? Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.